Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar event. My name is Joshua. I'm going to be your presenter today. Okay, custom account groups. It's exclusively in accounting for right now, okay? Basically, custom account groups is a feature that allows you to select specific accounts that you'd like to see on reports and, and separate them by name. Accounts can belong to different accounts. The same account can belong to as many custom account groups as you wish. Um, but basically, how I like to also term it is it allows you to choose select or random accounts, select random accounts that are not otherwise associated by fund or ledger relationship or what have you. And what I like to do is, well, so like for an example, I've got a committee of folks that are responsible for a specific set of accounts that aren't necessarily tied together by, say, a fund or or ledger, you know, and so they, they're they just kind of pulled in from all parts of the chart of accounts, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll say probably notably income and expenses, but honestly, custom account groups can be anywhere in the software. Um, but I like to use the treasurer's report as an example, and we're going to kind of look at that here. So when we go up to reports, export, financial, and treasurer's report, you know, I, I kind of point out on the actual options page, notice here you've got a menu down the left-hand side called fund. All right, so if I click the down arrow, it shows all of my fund balance accounts, okay? So if I were to choose, say, my general operating fund and print, it will report on exclusively the income and expense accounts that are tied or linked to the general operating fund. And the same is true for any of those other funds. All right. Also, there's no way to select a range of accounts here, right? So you can't say, okay, I want this starting account through this ending account. So there's not an option here for us to choose a range of accounts. So that kind of requires that when we want to be able to pull in only certain types of accounts that we want to see for reports, that we have to use this feature called custom account groups, okay? Um, and so again, yes, if I choose like my, a fund, it will report on all of those. But what if I've got a group of an accounts that are not necessarily linked to just one fund? Or maybe they've got different accounts, different income and expense accounts that maybe are linked to different funds. All right. Well, that's where the custom account groups becomes really important. Okay. And a common way to think about it is, like I say, committee reports. My committee is responsible for these particular accounts, they don't want to see any other types of accounts. How can I get them a report to just show those accounts? Okay, so I have to use the feature called custom account groups. There's a couple different ways to access that, okay? So right here under, notice under the treasurer's report options, we've got a tab called custom account groups. It shows a couple of groups that I already have constructed. To, in order to set up a new group, a custom group from this page, I would simply go down to the bottom and click on the button down here labeled Add Custom Account Group. Or I can also access it by going up to here to Chart of Accounts in the upper left corner and right below that to the right Custom Groups. Okay. When I click on Custom Groups, it opens up the same window as if I were to open up the, you know, click on the Add Custom Account Groups window at any of my reports. Okay, so today, for example, we're going to create a group of accounts for our worship, worship and music group committee, okay? I don't have a fund, and I'm going to show you this. So if I go into my manage accounts here and I click collapse all and I click on say my funds, notice I don't have a fund here called, you know, worship and music committee or worship and music fund. So I've got kind of accounts that are kind of sporadically that they're responsible for that could be anywhere in any one of these funds. There could be some in my general fund. There could be some that are linked to my building fund, okay? So the custom account groups feature is the best tool that I have for that. So we're going to go back up to, we're going to go back to our treasurer's report again, and I'm going to show you how when we click on the treasurer's report and custom account groups, and I click add custom account group down here, opens up the very same window that I see when I'm at the custom accounts groups page, okay? So to add a new group or create one, I simply click the plus sign here in the upper 
right hand corner. Okay, and I'm going to call this one worship and music. Okay, and click OK. Notice now below that there's no accounts. I haven't added any. So what I now need to do is go over to my accounts list on the left here and I have to find the accounts that I want to add for my particular report. Okay, so the accounts I'm wanting, they're not under assets, they're not under liabilities, they're not even under funds. They're going to be under things like my income and my expense accounts. Albeit they could be others and I'll show you how when we were to go, if we were to go into the balance sheet that you'll have a custom account groups there, uh, a tab there too. But the key is, you know, if I wanted the balance sheet to show custom groups or accounts, I would have to, they would have to be assets, liabilities, or funds because my income and expenses, of course, don't show on my balance sheet and vice versa. All right, so if we collapse all down under total income, and now we're looking under, say, total expenses. All right, if I go down here, I've got, you know, my compensation expenses. Those are not part of that. Total utilities. And we're going to go down here. And, ah, now we've got, say, total worship expenses. Okay, now we're getting into some accounts, accounts that we could possibly need for this, this report. So what I can do is I can highlight each account independently. And I can either double click on it to move it over, all right, or back as the case may be. Notice when I double clicked on it, it popped it over to the list on the right. I can also highlight one account and I can use this right facing arrow right here in the middle and move that account over there as well. Or the other option is I can either click a subtotal. So if I want all of the accounts that are under my total worship expenses to go in there over to that group on the right, I can simply highlight the subtotal arrow and click the plus the arrow to the right and it will add all of my accounts bulletins through worship worship supplies all over to the list on the right okay other options now folks these are Microsoft based applications so many of you are familiar with control and shift as a way of being able to select records so that works here too so if I do uh, control I can now randomly go down and choose accounts that I'm wanting, okay? And, <clears throat> or I can use shift and I can select a block of accounts. You've got lots of flexibility here for how you add accounts to your custom group list on the right. So if I highlight worship ex total worship expenses, I'm going to do this because I just, it's one, something I want to show you you can do if you've got subtotals, of course. So we highlight total worship expenses, click the right facing arrow. It pops up and prompts us with a dialog box asking, add all accounts in total worship expenses to this custom account group. I click yes, and boom, it adds all of those accounts over to, the, uh, over to my custom group list on the right. Okay? And you've also got a search feature here, folks. So notice it's got the subtotal that I had highlighted called total worship expenses in the upper left. But notice here, if I clear that out using the X and I type in music now, I'm starting to type in music, notice it now filters down to all of the, you know, the music expense accounts that I have set up in my chart of accounts. So now I can just choose one of those accounts. It's highlighting music material. Again, I can highlight it and double click on it, or I can use the right facing arrow and it's telling me that it's already there. Why? Because it's part of my total worship, my total worship expense uh, subtotal. Okay. So the, the, the process of adding accounts continues to go in over to the move the accounts over to the list on the right as needed. So let's go ahead and we'll add some of those other ones like the musicians, directors, and salaries because that's basically we're saying our church maybe considers those accounts to be all part of the worship and music committee's responsibility. So again, I just double click on music, director, salary, and benefits um, <clears throat> or highlight it, move it over, notice it adds that over to my list on the right. Let's go back up and do another search. It looked like I might have missed some other things. Special musicians. These would have been musicians that were open. Oh, they're already. It's already inside my worship expenses, so I don't need to add that. Okay, it's already there. All right. 
So let's see if we can double click on some of these here. Music director, they're already there. So I've got what I need in my group now, okay? So I've got all my worship supplies expenses. I mean, there might be more, but we're just hypothetically saying this is the accounts that this particular group is responsible for. And then I've got my accounts listed on the right. Notice the account numbers do not show only the account names. There's no way to reorder them here because they're going to be, the order is going to be controlled by either account number or account name, depending on the columns that I have displayed on my report. Okay. So when I close out of my custom account groups, and now notice in my treasurer's report in the upper left, I've now got my mission grouping, trustees accounts, and worship and music. Okay. So I'm going to put a check mark next to that group name. I'm going to go back to options. I am going to make sure accounts with zero balances are selected because I don't think I have activity in these accounts, but I want to have you see it. And then we're saying, and then of course I would go to the columns tab and uh, make sure that I've got the columns that I'm wanting, say, for my report, and I go to print. And all this report should show me is those particular expense accounts, and it does. All right. So I can just print this report or export it, distribute it to my worship and music committee, and they've got just the accounts that they want uh, very quickly and very simply. Okay. The thing about custom account groups is once they're constructed and created, it's there forever. Okay. You don't have to go back and recreate it. The only time typically you would need to revisit a custom account group is if you were needing to either add new accounts to it or take accounts away from it. Otherwise, it's there forever. And again, as I stated earlier, one account can belong to multiple custom account groups. There is no restriction on how many groups one single account can belong to. Okay. Um, all right. So... And again, I just want to show that how on reports, if I go back up to financial, say, and balance sheet, I've got another tab called custom account groups here. Okay, So I know that my worship and music is not going to have anything in there, but let's see if trustees, I don't know if trustees does either, but there may be nothing there. There's not. <clears throat> so if I did have assets, liabilities, or funds added to a particular custom account group, those would, it would create a a group of just those assets, liabilities, and funds or balance sheet accounts that were part of that group. Okay. Um, yeah, it, 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 again, it's in under our balance sheet options, I like to show the same thing. There is no way under our balance sheet to choose a range or select accounts here. The only way to be able to create a group of accounts for reporting purposes that are either random or not associated in any way to one another is to use the feature called custom account groups. Let me look at my documentation here and see <clears throat> what I'm missing, if I'm missing anything. Okay, so of course you're not locked, you're not deleting accounts, you're just deleting groups, but of course custom account groups can be deleted as well. So if I go back up to a uh, chart of accounts, custom account groups, choose the, choose a particular group from the list. Here's my mission grouping. I simply go to the little minus sign, notice the floating help message to the far right, delete group. I can also edit the name by clicking the little pencil icon as well. So if I click on that, you know, I can call this, you know, change it, go, oh, I don't like mission grouping. I'm going to call this mission committee. Okay. And I've just changed that name for that group. And it's how it'll show on reports now as well. <clears throat> but if I want to delete the group, I can simply choose that little minus sign. And when I click the minus sign, it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this group? I click yes, and it's now gone. The, the accounts are there. They're still in your chart of accounts. Um, and, uh, you know, all the accounts are still in the chart of accounts. I haven't deleted any accounts. All I deleted was the group that tied them together, okay, otherwise. Um, but, folks, that is explore this function. It is a really, really, really powerful feature. There, it is in many ways the uh, only way to get certain types of reports um, available to you in accounting. Okay, um, it so you know explore this custom account groups feature. It really does. I've worked with churches, folks. They've got 
dozens of custom account groups. And they create them as needed, they delete them when they don't, they amend them or edit them as needed, and they're completely happy with their reports because they get exactly what they need. So I'm going to end my topic for the day there.